up guys, Polder here, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Echoes DLC, where we play through all of the DLC maps in an LP style format with that little bit of blind factor. Today we're going to be starting the Undaunted Heroes pack, which is the second grinding DLC pack, but this one is geared towards endgame slash postgame. All of them are considered hard difficulty by Nintendo. Uh, the DLC we're going to be starting with is going to be Lords of the Grave. A uh, little flavor text by Nintendo is Fearsome terrors of yore wander these ruins. Though powerful beyond measure, they yield great experience in return. So the reward, it's just experience grinding. Uh, like I said, difficulty is hard. So we're going to get into it. And I am currently in Act 4 of the game. I don't know if this is going to be too strong or, you know... On even ground, I'm not entirely sure how my units are going to handle this, but we will find out. Uh, let's see. Once there was a legion of brave warriors honored for their distinguished service. At their passing, they were given lavish funerals and laid to rest with all honors. But during the war, their coffins were violated and destroyed. And it was then that they woke, determined to visit their rage and their curse upon all the living. Okay. So this is the map. Cool looking. Uh, we got something that I've never seen in the game. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, five of them. And they're level one Tomb Lords. They have 27 attack, 15 defense, 12 res. Okay, they should not be a problem. I'm at, like, the end of Act 4. Should not be a problem to deal with. But I was interested. Okay, so they're, they're like the Revenants, but, like, fully armored. That's pretty cool. Okay. So that's what we're fighting, huh? Um... The people I'm bringing... Uh... Yeah, these should be... This should be a fine... Fine party. Um, so let's fight. I'm curious to see... Well, do we have any text? Uh, enemies spawn continuously here. You can withdraw when you feel you are in danger. Okay, so the first grinding DLC, they, um... They didn't attack you. So if they spawn continuously, that makes me, be like, Nothing think that they are going to attack me. Which is interesting. Um, let's see here. Okay, so that was just attack. I mean, we were about to level on her anyway. I'm just really curious to see... How... Fissure... Okay, I don't know what that is, but interesting. I don't know, I'm really curious to see how much experience you actually gain from these guys. So let's see, we're at 80, and that gave Clive a full level. Actually got a pretty good level off that too. That gave him a full level, okay. These fissures turning into rocks, I don't understand entirely uh i am curious though if they oh i didn't mean to do that well i'm really curious to know do they attack me if i just end my turn yes yes they do okay so this dlc can and will try to kill you that's all I really wanted to know, because the other one was very, you know, low level. Uh, wasn't a very good grinding for dia, uh, for experience um, in any capacity. But this one, sure, you're you're gonna be taking some damage, and it might take a few units to take the uh, what are they call tomb lords down. But it's very much doable. It is very much doable. Uh, Seraphim. 
So it says, God damn. It says this is infinite. I'm curious to know if there's any ever, ever anything special that happens. Because there's these fissure thing, like I can handle it. I I really don't know what these rock things are. Like, is it gonna trap me? Okay, I stood right next to that fissure and it turned into a rock. So that kind of leads me to believe any fissure spot will turn into an impassable rock tile. So you could get locked out here if you're not careful? Possibly? Not really sure. But I do kind of want to just... What's the highest level I have? 11? I just want to see like how much experience I can really get. How good it is to grind. 12... Okay, I think Faye and Tobin are my highest levels. Nice crit coming through. Okay, so just hitting it didn't give me much, but let me end the turn. Okay, he takes a lot of damage though. So from 58 to 70, so t it looks like 20 experience a kill is what I've been getting. I don't know if it's been flat across the board, because that's what Clive got. He got 20. So let's see, we're at 49, so ideally, you know, if, if it's 20 across the board, by killing one, we get to 69, right? Yes. Yes, and it looks like that's level 12. Um, yes, can I kill... Not without help. We're level 4 here, so... 51. For, uh, for Delthia, right? Got another crit. No, okay. So, around 10, 11, 12, it looks like you get 20 a kill. Uh, this one, what well, we're going to 51, so we're at 31. We got, like, 36 from that. So, there's not a hard, like, this is as much, this is all the experience you're gonna get every time. Uh, but it seems like a pretty solid grind. Much, much better than the other one. And that's, that's the main thing I was, I was worried about. Is, uh... Because the first grinding was, like, the has paid off. the gold and um, item. The, what, are, what are they called? Let me, let me scroll up here. The Astral Temple and Wretches and Riches were actually better uh, for grinding experience than the, uh, the other maps were. Which shouldn't have been the case. Like, the experience map should be the best place to get experience, but it wasn't turning out that right, way. Let me get go. Alm in here, just so he's buffing up uh, Faye there. She's the main one. Uh, she's actually the reason I'm doing this grinding one first and not going, you know, in order from top to bottom of the, the actual in-game list. Uh, because I'm, I'm really wanting to get again on Faye, which is unique to her as a saint, or a priestess, or is a saint. Priestess is what Delthia is. Okay. But it lo it's looking like... Oh, okay. I was about to say, we've only been getting one a turn. And are they getting any stronger? This one is 31 attack. Uh, the f first few... Oh. Ooh, and I cannot see the top two HP. So they do seem to get stronger as you go, as you progress here, which I like. I like that it's, you know, the longer you're here, the longer you grind, the higher the risk you are taking. So let's let's take a few more turns here to see what, what all is gonna go down. Um, 
So it's turn five. Oh, I just saw on the bottom, victory, withdraw or survive 10 turns. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> okay. So we're getting these really strong ones coming through. There's level nine, there's level eight. So it looks like these are sevens. They're like slowly incrementing, increasing in power. Wow. And speed. You gotta watch their speed too, because that guy kills Tobin. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. Well, Delthia is hey, you are good. doing the most out here. Uh, you have 15 speed. Let's see, Matilda, who is more bulky, still gets doubled. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm curious if everyone has to escape. Because if everyone has to escape, this is going to get real sketch. Okay, so one from the center, huh? Oh, okay. 35, a level 12. Okay, I... I'm digging this. I'm, I'm really liking this, to be honest. Not a good level, but... Whatever. Um... That's how you die, girl. That's that's how you die. Okay. We need to be out here with the big damage. Otherwise, I am going to die. Oh, but I also got the crit. Hell yeah. That should do it. Okay. Oh, I like that. Um so let's see here. Even these guys. Okay, so Delthia, Delthia does the absolute most here. It mainly seems like this is going to be a very dangerous place to grind if you're not using Seraphim. Is it okay for the goddess to pick favorites like this? Um. I wish I did that. Okay, okay. Uh, we do have a blessed shield, but like... Does everyone die? Okay, Clive doesn't die. So, you know, at the worst, I can just body block with Clive. So, if we're not gonna be doubling, might as well go for a heavy draw. And then... Over here, Seraphim. And then Clive. Okay. So 28 experience from that one. Whereas Clive got 20 the for the first one he killed. Okay. Turn 7. Let's see. I, I would like to not withdraw. If I could, if I can help it, that is. Uh, okay, so... Two more level 9s coming in. Okay, send scale, yikes, okay, okay, well, I can finish the job with that Seraphim, okay, and that's, that's safe, alright, let's highlight this guy, oof, how does Claire, okay, okay, Claire does a nice amount of damage, actually. Might as well do a little bit. And it looks like she missed a hit. So, that's always good. That's always good. Um, yeah, this ain't good. <laughs> this ain't good at all. Uh, that miss actually like, really screwed me over. And go ahead and kill that guy with Delthia. Good. Clive won't die to this guy yet. So let's do as much as we can. Um, Allow me. I do have Long Arch here. And I believe that paired with the Duma's Lance. There we go. 
That was a lot of experience to kill in that one. Um, let's see, we have 30 attack here, 23 attack. So, Clive couldn't kill. Neither can Zeke. Alright. Let me just go ahead and end the turn. Ugh, okay. These last Speed and defense. Turn eight. I don't know that I can survive this. To be completely honest, um, I gotta kill one, two, three, four, five of them, or at least get close to killing five of them. Like Delthia, Delthia is doing any. Oh, Delthia, why? Why, girl, why? <laughs> Luckily, we have backup. Uh, learn Fortify. Ooh. Ooh. A, a toe pit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. We're out here not landing hits. That's how you lose. 7% crits, making sure we kill it. Okay. Um, how do I want to deal with this? <sighs> Stand aside. Shall we then? The best way would if would be if I get a seraphim crit here like that. Okay, that handles one issue. And then... You don't die. So I'm really tempted. You also don't die. Okay, I think... I could invoke to make some body... Some, some meat shields. And I... Expel's not gonna work on him. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Okay. Send scale 22. 36. Let's just Seraphim one of them. Okay. And then... Okay, she doesn't kill without a crit. Otherwise, she will die. I think my best bet... ...is to do that, and then... Oh, that actually blocks them entirely! Now that I really look at it. So if I put Lucas here, and just long arch this guy... They can't stand on the fissure. So that's a way to cheese it. There's some cheese strats right there. Okay. Okay. So we will be able to get this, no problem, with that little bit of cheese. Alright. Get all that residual healing going. Uh, Seraphim, let's see if we get a crit. We do not. Okay. This guy's level 13. Uh, 29. Send scale takes me down to 5, so I will. Gotta make sure the threats are gone. This ends here. All right. So let's see. A little bit of damage. Um, how do I want to handle? What is my accuracy? 80. But it only takes one hit. I will risk it. 
Okay. It's like we got the dynamic camera. That means that means it's a kill. Shouldn't have risked that, but I did anyway. I felt like being on the edge a little bit there. All right. Um, as for these guys, let's just go ahead. Put Tobin here, and that that's enough in its own to, to block. Uh, fortify... Oh, he's within range. Okay. That's the first Fortify I've, I've ever used in this game. So I was unsure on the range or how it really worked there. Uh, we'll recover Tobin for good measure. I am ready. Let's get Zeke over here for a little bit of boost. All right. So, I, does it just end? Or... Yes, yes it does, okay. We made it, somehow. All right. And see, the warriors have returned to their slumber. But until the world is free of conflict, they may yet ri again rise from their graves. Having gained great strength, the victors quietly thanked the lords before departing. So I'm curious, real quick, before I wrap this video up, I'm curious if there's any special flavor text for just leaving. Because we didn't leave. We, we sat there for all ten turns. Um, so let's just fight. And... Yes. Let's go. Escape. Whereas they return to their slumber, but until the world's free conflict. No, so it gives you the same dialogue whether you survive for 10 turns or you escape. Okay. The more you know. But uh, that is going to do it for us today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Bye.